like to call this meeting of the Sholo City Council to order. Show that all council members are present with the exception of Councilman Adams, who has to be excused tonight. Tonight, I've asked Councilman Clark to lead us in the invocation, followed by the pledge by the Vice Mayor Kakavis. If you'd all like to stand and join us, you may. Our Father in Heaven, we're thankful for this opportunity we have to gather tonight as the City Council for the City of Sholo. Thankful for the opportunity we have to gather in this wonderful building in this peaceful times. We're thankful for the moisture that has fallen upon our land and we have received an abundance. Truly beautified our community and our area and our mountains and we are thankful for it. We are thankful, Father, for the men and women who put their lives on the line for our community and for our country. We pray that thou protect and watch over them, keep them safe, help them to make it home safely. We are thankful for this community for the people who sacrifice their time and their talents and their efforts to make this a better place to live and to be a place that people would love to call home. We ask that tonight as we deliberate and as we discuss that we'll be able to do so in a, in a kind and an efficient manner, that we will be able to think about the things, think about the citizens' needs and think about the impact they will have on the individuals whose these decisions will ultimately affect. We pray for guidance beyond our own and we ask for humility as we serve thee in our capacity as council members. We are grateful for our staff and for those people who've worked so hard to put the agenda together. We pray thou bless them and bless us this night to be guided and directed by thee. And we ask this in the name of thy son, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Councilman Clark. Appreciate that. Thank you, Vice Mayor. All righty, next item on the agenda is call the public. Any citizen desire to speak on a matter that is within the jurisdiction of the city may do so at this time. Seeing nobody sprint up here, I will move to the next item. Next item under special events is presentation of a certificate appreciation to an outgoing member of the Planning and Zoning Commissioner, Mr. Tergaskis. Thank you, Mr. Mayor and members of council. Now, this is my first time that I've been asked to do this. Um, I think it's, <laughs> it's not going to be your last. <laughs> well, I'm afraid it won't be. Um, <laughs> We value our members of the Planning and Zoning Commission. We value the service that they provide. Uh, several of you on the council have had experience with the Planning and Zoning Commission and understand what all that can entail. Um, in many ways, it's a thankless job. Um, at this point, we'd like to uh, recognize our outgoing chair, Mr. Rob Hefner. Uh, he served on the commission for a period of approximately three years, uh, served as chair for around the last year or so. Uh, in doing so, I think it's fair to say um, that he literally was my right-hand man. Uh, for those who are familiar with the, the way the commission sits, uh, the chair sits where Councilman Alsop is sitting now, and I sit where Mr. Mooder is sitting now. Um, that enables us to communicate back and forth during the meeting and make sure that things are being taken care of appropriately and adequately. And uh, It was very rare that I needed to interject uh, with Mr. Hefner and make sure that things were going the way that they needed to. He ran a very good meeting. Um, we could count on him to be stable. Um, he was fact-driven, appreciated that he did not let emotion get into uh, his deliberations. Uh, he'd look at uh, the facts of the matter. Um, and he was fair in the way he ran the meetings and uh, the decisions that he made. Uh, when he signed up for the commission, I think it's fair to say that he did not really uh, know exactly what it was that he was getting into. Um, I know that he was very curious just about things that were going on in the community, and that was one of the driving factors for him to apply. Uh, but during his tenure on the commission, we, uh, we dealt with COVID, which obviously nobody anticipated. Uh, as chair, he dealt with some uh, touchy issues, dealing from cell towers to uh, nursing homes to medical marijuana dispensaries. Uh, all things that uh, I think are new to most people as they come to the commission and, and deal with them in the community. Um, again, I, I would like to just personally extend my thanks to him for his service. 
I'd like to throw out a little bit of a plug. We are still have a vacant seat on the commission <laughs> for those who may be interested in uh, filling or at least uh, attempting to fill his shoes. So that, Mr. Mayor, I'll turn it over to you for presentation of a uh, certificate. I appreciate that, Rob. If you come up front, please. And, and thank you. Right there is fine. And I want to thank you, and I'm sure maybe some other comments, but I want to thank you, too, for your professionalism uh, as being chair of the Planning and Zoning Commission. I know, you know, it seems like it's always your fault. It's always your fault, and I understand that. I, like like, uh, like Justin said, most of us up here have been on Planning and Zoning, so I appreciate it. I hated seeing you leave, uh, as well as Justin and the rest of the Planning and Zoning Commission, but this is her, this is to certify that Rob Hepner is hereby awarded her, her Certificate of Appreciation from the Sholo City Council for his outstanding service to the citizens of Sholo as a Planning and Zoning Commission member from April 2019 to July 2020 on this 16th day of August 2022. Rob, thank you very much. I appreciate your, your hard work and your dedication to our citizens and our community. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Thank you, sir. You don't want to. You don't want to say anything. I, you yeah, know, I Kim, are you kidding me? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Having a podium before and a, and a gavel, it's you know take control. Right. <laughs> uh, it's been my pleasure uh, and my honor to serve the uh, city of Sholo um, citizens. It's and of course you serve at the. I'm planning zoning. You serve the city council. So hopefully, with education moving forward. I'm going to try to deliver that uh, both for the town of Pine Temple Lakeside and actually for the city of Sholo people's understanding of how planning and zoning work, how it interfaces, and what staff does really. Uh, the, the unsung hero is staff. Uh, they do a phenomenal job. They make it very easy uh, to be able to deal with facts and not to deal with emotions. So while well, he said it was fact driven, he provided me the facts. It was easy to deal with. So uh, uh, Director Triaskis is a phenomenal director, and uh, we're, we're honored as a city to have him. So thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Appreciate it, Bob. <laughs> Any comments before we go on to the next item? Again, congratulations. Again, Rob, thank you, man. I appreciate it very much. Okay, next item on the agenda is consent calendar. We'll, we'll consider creation of a non-commercial ground lease with Iceland LLC. Mr. Sergaskis, thank you very much for coming in tonight. I appreciate it. Um, consideration of non-commercial ground lease with Kelly McBride. Consideration of acceptance of West McNeil 4th Avenue to 8th Avenue sewer replacement. Consideration of con contra contribution to the Cholo S Historical Society for museum roof replacement. Um, and consideration of the minutes of the Cholo City Council meeting. August 2nd, 2022. Is there anything that anybody wants to pull off that or discuss? If not, I'll entertain a motion to accept the consent calendar as read. So moved. Got a motion by the vice mayor. I need a second. A second. Got a second. All those in favor? All those opposed, same sign. Pass unanimous. Thank you. Next item on the agenda under new business is consideration of resolution number R. 2022-17, declaring the adoption, the results of the primary election held on August 2nd, 2022. Ms. Paul. Thank you, Mayor and Council. Resolution number R2022-17 outlines the unofficial results of the City of Sholo's primary election held on August 2nd, 2022. The ballot included three council seats. To win in the primary election, a candidate must have received a majority of the valid votes cast for the Office of City Council. Based on complete unofficial results, the number of the votes required to be declared elected was 1,045 votes for the City Council. There were four candidates for the three Council seats, incumbents Mike Alsup, Brant Clark, Brent Hatch, and newcomer Jody Whitehead. Results showed that candidate Mike Alsup received 1,773 votes, Brant Clark received 1,624 votes, Brent Hatch received 1,497 votes, and Jody Whitehead received 1,372 votes. Mike Alsup, Brent Clark, and Brent Hatch each received more than the 1,045 votes needed and will be declared elected to the City Council. 
Approving resolution number R2022-17 will declare the election results to be the official canvas with Mike Alsa, Brent Clark, and Brent Hatch filling the three council seats, respectively. The three council members will be sworn in at the December 6, 2022 council meeting. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Hall. I appreciate that. At this time, I'll entertain a motion to accept the um, election results as being read. I'll make a motion. Got a motion. I need a second. I'll second it. Got a second. All those in favor? Oh, to sorry. Read, read the motion. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I need a motion. Uh, I move to I'm adopt. Sorry. I move to adopt resolution <laughs> number R2022 17, declaring and adopting the results of the primary election held on August 2nd, 2022. Now I have a motion. It's been a while since I ran a meeting. I need a second <laughs> on the motion. I got a second. All those in favor? All those opposed, same sign. Motion passed unanimously. Next item on the agenda is consideration of appointment of the Parks and Rec Advisory Committee member, Mrs. Hall. Thank you, Mayor. Due to the resignation of Parks and Recreation Advisory Committee member Sally Williams, there was a vacancy on the committee with the term expiring March 2023. Staff advertised the vacancy and received one application from Joel Weeks. Staff recommends appointing Joel Weeks to the Sholo Parks and Recreation Advisory Committee for a term expiring March 2023. Thank you. Thank you. I'll entertain a motion. All right. Go ahead. I would vote to accept that. I'm losing my voice. I'm sorry. The motion to accept Joel Weeks to or appoint Joel Weeks to the Parks and Rec. Right. <clears throat> Thank you. I need a second. Can we make Joel show up and have to tell us why he should be on there? <laughs> we don't have that much time. I got a motion and a second. All those in favor? All those opposed? Same sign. Motion passed unanimously. Thank you. Thank you, Joel, for, for throwing your name out there. Appreciate that. Okay, next item on the agenda is consideration of award of construction contract for East Union Sidewalk and Drainage Improvement, City of Sholo Project Number R4022 and authorize of associated budget transfer, Ms. Hemsaw. Good evening, Mayor Mr. Council. Mr. Hemsaw, sorry. No worries. Uh, the city's fiscal year 2022 capital improvements program budget includes $347,000 for a sidewalk and drainage replacement project labeled East Huning Sidewalk. A portion of this funding, about $220,000, is a CDBG or Community Development Block Grant that has been allocated as a sidewalk replacement project to help uh, redevelop downtown Sholo. Uh, the scope of the work includes installing curb, gutter, pavers, six-foot sidewalk, um, Americans with disabilities, ADA ramps, driveways, conduits for future decorative lighting and future landscaping, and required drainage improvements uh, needed along East Huning between 11th Street and White Mountain Road. Uh, the project was designed by city engineering staff with a construction estimate of $396,000. Uh, the project was publicly bid in accordance with statutory requirements with the following results. Uh, Navapache Construction, LLC, at $573,650, and Rollins Specialty Contracting at $649,680. Uh, staff recommends awarding the construction contract for the East Union Sidewalk and Drainage Improvements to the Sholo Project R4022, or the CDBG Project 102-22, uh, to the Navapache Construction, LLC, in that amount not to exceed the $573,650 and authorize the associated budget transfers. Uh, the bid tabulation for all the work is attached, and I'm available for questions. Any questions from the council? If not, I'll look for a motion. Councilman also. I move to work construction contract for the East Huning Sidewalk and Drainage Improvements, City of Sholo, num uh, project number R4022, CBG number 102-22 to Navapache Construction, LLC, in amount not to exceed $573,650 and authorize the associated budget transfer. Thank you. I got a motion. I need a second. Council. Second by Councilman Judd. Any other questions or comments? I got a, a motion and a second. All those in favor? All those opposed, same sign. Motion passed unanimously. Next item on the agenda is consideration of award of construction contract for Sholo Senior Center floor and foundation repair, City of Sholo project number FM0723. Mr. Hemsaw. Okay. City owns and maintains the uh, 
Sholo Senior Center building located at 301 East McNeil in Sholo. Uh, there's been ongoing issues with the concrete slab floor in the building. Uh, due to seasonal soil expansion and contraction, uh, the floor has developed a severe crack. <clears throat> and this has caused the floor to develop a vertical displacement of over two inches. Uh, this is a public area and has become a safety hazard. In July of 2022, the city advertised a request for proposals um, for the needed repairs. Several companies were also contacted by staff. Two companies attended the pre-proposal meeting with the subsequent, oh, excuse me, subsequent site visits. Excuse me. Uh, the companies were given the opportunity to inspect the affected areas in the building. Uh, one proposal was received from APAC Pressure Grouting Incorporated. Uh, this proposal contained a detailed scope of work along with pricing. Now the cost was $57,825 and is within the range that was expected for the proposed scope of work. Staff recommends awarding the construction contract with APEC Pressure Ground Incorporated for the Sholo Senior Center Floor and Foundation Repairs, City of Sholo Project Number FM0723, uh, and that amount not to exceed that $57,825.00. Um, their grounding proposal and scope is attached. Um, APEX is, and I'm available for your question. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Yeah. Any questions or comments? Councilman also. Thank you. Um, just a few things on this. I'm 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 hoping that this is the what will hopefully fix this. I know we've been working on this thing for about eight or ten years and different aspects of it, cracked ceilings, cracked walls, foundations. We fixed it. We and then uh so I'm hoping that uh this will be our fix for this building. It's uh it's something that we need to fix and that we need to maintain, we need to keep it up. So, um, so we can have a place for our seniors to be at, and where we can serve them food, and also to enjoy their time. So, I'm hoping and praying that this is uh, one that that fixes it all. So, thank you for your uh, for staff for putting this together. Good. And and just to add to that, I know we've been I've been down there a few times in the last year or so, and through the kitchen, and it looks like the building's in good shape, except for that one spot. We think so, and I, I think the people that even looked at it, even complimented that same that same statement so i'll entertain a motion uh, our vice mayor i move to award the construction contract for sholo senior center floor and foundation repair city of sholo project number fm-0723 to apac pressure grouting incorporated in amount not to exceed fifty-seven thousand eight hundred and twenty-five dollars thank you very much i got a motion i need a second i'll second second by council clark all those in favor all those opposed, same sign, motion passed. Thank you, sir, appreciate that. Next item on the agenda, consideration of acceptance of South Apron Rehabilitation Project and approve, approval of oil cost escalation request. What is that word? Eject right up. <laughs> Why doesn't it say that? Fancy, fancy word for inflation. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> Mr. Allen. Good evening, Mayor and Council. Um, in March of 2021, Armstrong Consultants advertised a request for proposals for construction services for the South Apron Rehabilitation Project at the Shola Regional Airport. A bid opening was held on March 31st, 2021, at which point three bids were received. On April 20th, 2021, the City Council approved the grant application and recommendation to the Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA, awarding the construction contract. Uh, for the South Apron Rehabilitation Project for Sholo Construction, Inc., uh, in the amount not to exceed $950,418.24. The FAA accepted the city's recommendation and awarded the contract and funded the grant. The city has received the grant in the amount of uh, $960,907.54, which was 100% of the Airport Improvement Program eligible portion um, of the project. Uh, to include the additional costs of engineering services, construction administration, and sponsor administration. Typically, the city would be required to match 2.5% uh, of the grant funds, but due to the COVID-19 pandemic, FAA required no match, saving the city $24,022.67. Total project cost was $1,164,579.54. The city's uh, non-AIP eligible portion of the total project was $203,672. The project was completed ahead of schedule on June 27, 2022, on budget with no change orders 
and the final inspection was completed on July 27, 2022 with no deficiencies. Uh, due to the unprecedented rise in the cost of oil between March uh, 2021 and June 2022, the contractor incurred additional costs for material amounting to $34,100.86. The cost per ton increased from $399 to $650 per ton, an increase of $251 per ton. Uh, 135 tons of oil was purchased for this project. Uh, and though prices do com commonly fluctuate, this amount exceeded what could have been reasonably anticipated. As such, Sholo Construction Inc. has requested that the city pay the additional costs, and staff is recommending that the costs be split 50 50. Uh, staff recommends accepting the South Apron Rehabilitation Project and approving the cost escalation request in the amount of $18,487.78. And I'm available for any questions. Thank you, sir. Any questions or comments? Yeah, yeah, one there. Uh, so is Shola Construction agreeable to uh, sp splitting it 50-50, or would they like us to pay the entire amount? Uh, they'd like us, they'd like for us to pay the entire amount, but uh, we had a, a meeting with them recently, and and uh, we thought it would be fair to split to split the, the escalation cost 50-50. Uh, and they'll accept and, that? The, I talked to Shola Construction, and although they'd like the full amount, they will accept the half of it. What it is is half of it plus the sales taxes because the sales tax wasn't included in the original amount. Mm -hmm. yeah. Any other questions or comments? If not, I'll look for a motion. I'll, I'll move to accept uh, the South a Apron Rehabilitation Project of the Shoal Regional Airport and to approve uh, of the oil cost escalation requested by Shoal Construction Incorporated in the amount of $18,487.78 approving any associated budget transfers and authorize the mayor to sign any associated documents. Got a motion. I'll second it. Um, all those in favor of the motion? All those opposed? Motion passed unanimously. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I know we, we none of us like prices to go up, but this was something that, as we know, what oil is doing. <laughs> I wish somebody had split the cost with me to pay for my fuel in my truck. <laughs> Getting ridiculous. Make a motion. Yeah. Don't put that on as a motion. I'll be on the front page again. Okay, next item on the agenda, summary current events. That's the clock. Um Oh, sorry, I need to compose myself. I just want to thank uh, the board for the Sholo Youth Foundation. Uh, this last weekend, we had a uh, an event that happened over in the Frontier Fields. Many people might have wondered what that big giant circus tent was. It was not Barnum and Bailey Circus coming to town. It was uh, it was a community coming together for uh, the youth of the citizens or for the youth of Sholo. Um, I think we had almost 500 people that were um, in attendance at that event. Um, a lot of community members donated a lot of money. But uh, a lot of uh, the board members, what people don't see is they they sacrifice a lot of time and a lot of effort and a lot of energy and a lot of heartache. And there's a lot of frustration and a lot of that kind of stuff that uh, that I could see. I just I kind of do a very small ancillary part of it. Um, and uh, but I could see it on their faces. And, and the reason why they continue to do it for almost 20 years now, I think it's been 19 years that they've been in operation. Uh, it's for the citizens' uh, kids, and so it's a it's a great great organization. Um, our city manager, our uh, city attorney, um, our deputy city clerk they put in countless hours to to make that happen. I know the mayor; he does a great job providing the food for it. Uh, it's just really a cool event for everybody to come together. Um, all you know, we we kind of joke sometimes about well, it's for the kids, it's for the kids, and this truly is for the kids, and it's for um, for our our. Uh, our citizens to come together was really a remarkable event. You know, um, last year, I think we had 370 or 380 and they got a bigger tent this year and we, and, and we still sold out. It's like, you could put five of those tents over there. And I think that we would still sell out because the citizens want to come and, and do what's right for the kids. So I want to thank you guys for doing that. That's an awesome. Um, yeah, I just went to did all what Councilman Clark said about the, but the staff that does all that. But also, I have. Um, I want to thank um, Councilman Clark. Um, it's always been a privilege and an honor when you ask me to uh, pray uh, before that at the Youth Foundation. It's 
it's uh, it's something that um, dear to my heart, and um, just to have the privilege of you asking me to do that was um, I'm, I'm totally grateful. Uh, I haven't had the privilege to pray at the council meetings or say the pledge for probably over a year, so I'm hoping one of these days I'll be able to say that in here too. But uh, thank you very much for your help. <laughs> Any other council member? Um, real quick, I just want to say I I love doing that event. You know, it's you know, we serve a lot of plates. It's a great time. We love being outside. So I've been involved the last couple of years and looking forward to continue doing that. So I appreciate it. And there's um, real quick, you know, uh, Mr. Tagrasis made a comment about some openings on the PNZ, and, and I just want to tell people that are out there that may be watching to want to get involved in in the city. Um, PNZ is a great place to start. I know there's still an opening out on that. I, I think it's going to op open up again. Um, so if you want to get involved, I, I would highly recommend to uh, get on the PNZ or put your name application in for PNZs. City Manager. Thank you, Mayor. <clears throat> a couple of things. Um, this on Saturday, August 27th, we'll, we'll have the residential electronic waste collection event again. And also use tires 8 to 11 a.m. at the Navajo County Penrod facility, 251 North Penrod Road. You can drop off unused and unwanted computer equipment accessories, small appliances, electronic equipment, and used tires without the rims for free. You're, each resident's only allowed to drop off one CRT style TV. Um, and um, the commercial businesses, are not, will not be accepted this event. It's for residential um, use only. If you need more information on that event, it's you can get a hold of Steve North at 532-4124. Sholo Main Street's Battle of the Bands and Bands will be held Saturday, September 3rd. That's actually before our next council meeting. Uh, from 12, to 8, 12 at noon to, until 9 p.m. at Frontier Field. The music and food competition features bands and food trucks competing for prize money and trophies. And admission is $5. Children ages 12 and under are free with a paid adult. And each admission comes with five tokens to vote for your favorite band or food truck. And more information on that event, you can contact Sholo Main Street at sholomainstreet.org. And as you know, we have a number of public works projects throughout the city. Um, a contractor's pulverizing 4th, 5th, 6th, and 8th drive on the citywide paving sidewalk connect connectivity project. And they're scheduled to be paved next week. And sidewalk will begin on Cooley in a, in a couple weeks. Road work continues on McNeil Acres. And the contractor's working down Reedhead with the sewer line. And then they'll pave that before they move to Stratton. They're also this week or they're going to start working on the wall at Frontier Park Playground and that equipment for the playgrounds tentatively scheduled in the first part of September. So we hope that when um, that's a long time coming on that playground and we're hoping that we can keep the schedule on that. It's been a issue with a supply chain issue on most of the items over there. As always, we appreciate the our citizens patients we have a lot of projects going throughout town and more on the way thank you appreciate that city manager anybody need seconds schedule of meetings we tentatively have tentatively have scheduled the student council day for september 2nd or september 6th and that'll be your next council meeting um that's when the students from the shoal high school student council participate with the staff in in the morning or, and and then they go out and job shadow um some of the different jobs within the city and then they'll join the council that evening and shadow the council members and help you out with the council meeting they also have a report on that what they've learned at the league of arizona cities and towns conference there will be four of them attending that conference and then one other scheduling meeting is just to mark your calendars, October 19th will be our annual retreat. We'll be at the Darren Reed Conference Room at the Public Safety Building. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Okay, next item on the agenda is I'll entertain a motion to go in executive session where we'll get 
legal advice from our city attorney. I got a motion by the vice mayor. I need a second. I'll second. Second by Councilman Clark. All those in favor? All those opposed? Motion passed unanimously. Going executive session. Thank you guys. It's good seeing you. Good